Mark Claire here for Bounding Into Comics. Have you seen what Marvel Comics executive Tom Brevoort has said? Pushing back, supposedly. Pushing back on what? We're not quite sure. After fans are hoping that the new X-Men event coming up next year called From the Ashes will be ditching ideology-driven storytelling, Brevoort has claimed that the team... X-Men in general, since its founding, has always been rooted in the message. Now, what does Tom mean by the message? I think we all know what he means by the message. But what the message is now, which is essentially woke ideology, the idea that race, gender, sexuality, sexual expression, whatever they may be, that is what matters. That is what matters about your identity. That is what matters in storytelling. That's what storytelling should be about, because that's what the world is about, and that's all that matters. He's not going to say it that way, but I think we all know that's what he means by the message. Now, I first saw this tweet, and by the way, this article comes from Spencer Bakuli, and look at this, December 25th, look at this publishing date. This guy never rests, all right? He's always getting out his stuff for you. Go check out his work and the work of everybody over boundingintocomics.com, and you can see the link to this article in the comments of this video if you want to read along and check it out. But this event is coming next year. It's supposed to be a little bit of a reboot. Now, no coincidence that they are also going to be relaunching the X-Men in the MCU in the next several years. So it makes sense that they want to sort of eh, relaunch what's been going on there. Because the X-Men of the last few years, of the Hickman X-Men, as I call them, the fascist X-Men, who are basically basically the entire X-Men, for those that didn't follow it, I read a little bit of the early Jonathan Hickman X-Men stuff just to see what was going on there. Essentially... The X-Men all live on the island of Krakoa, and they are fascists, and they only support other mutants. They are just, they're basically just total fascist racists right now. That is the the overall plot of the X-Men. Now, in fairness, I haven't read it in a few years, uh, but I haven't heard great things, okay? And the message, so to speak, from the fans has been the same. Where are my X-Men? Where is the storytelling that brought us into this in the first place? Where are the great characters the characters have almost gone away. I mean, you have a situation where you have characters that used to be at odds because they had different philosophies about how they should interact with mankind. They're all on the same team now because now they're just all part of the racist X-Men. Now, I'm sure there are some intricate storyline plots that I'm not hitting on here. I know there are. And nobody cares, all right? Nobody cares. And that's why the pushback, the pushback that I've seen has just been asking for good storytelling, asking to bring these characters back to their roots. Now, what I saw, I'm going to go down to this article a little bit, because I first heard about this by seeing this tweet. Again, here's the event coming in July 2024 called From the Ashes. This tweet was from Tom Brevoort, and he had reply. I guess there was a bunch of different tweets. You can see them all in this article. But this is the one that I saw. All right, I saw this tweet from Tom Brevoort on Twitter. X, whatever we're calling it now. He says, well, this X-Men graphic sure brought some people out in force. Run reminder that I thought wouldn't be necessary. Express whatever opinion you like. But if you show up with homophobia or bigotry or hate speak of any sort, it'll be an instant block. And I thought that was somewhat odd of a response to be posting sort of preemptively about this event going on. And I think the response of Tom Brevoort is pretty indicative of of what he believes the message to be. The message is, for him, if you don't agree with his view of the world, if you don't agree that everything should be about race, gender, sexuality, and that's what defines our lives, that's what defines our stories, that's what should be in our comics, that should should define all of our storytelling. If you don't believe that, you are a racist, a homophobe, and a bigot. That's what he believes. So he's bracing He's bracing for this and preparing fans, preparing fans for his own backlash, for his own backlash to say, you're all racist, you're all homophobes. We've seen this script before. We've seen it over and over and over. But at the end of the day, fans just want good stories. And that is not what they've gotten from the X-Men, not just in the last three years. You could argue in the last 15, 20 years or so. And when Brevoort talks about the message, it's funny, this article ends with a little story about Stan Lee. He's, you know, he says the X-Men was always about, quote unquote, the message. First of all, whatever messages were in the X-Men in the 1960s, 70s, even 80s, 90s, whatever messages were there 
are reflections of the times and reflections of political conversations, perhaps in the times, but that is not what the X-Men were about, okay? He lays out the story, Spencer lays out the story that Stan Lee has told many times. The X-Men came about because Stan Lee got sick of trying to think of inventive ways that characters got their powers. So one day he just said, you know what? What if we just have mutants where they're just born with powers and it's a weird thing and then I don't need to think of all these intricate explanations for how characters got all these powers. That's where the X-Men came from, all right? That's the core of the X-Men. It's Stan Lee being lazy and he openly admits that. Now, of course, many people have compared Professor X, Magneto to... MLK Jr., Malcolm X, those may be apt comparisons. I've never seen Stan Lee talking about that at all, but those may be apt comparisons reflecting conversations and real social events going on at the time. That's not what this message is right now. That This message is a push of ideology. It is a push that every, it's the opposite. It's the opposite of the message of the X-Men, that we shouldn't be castigating people out of society because they're different. That's actually the opposite. I know it's what Tom thinks he's doing. He thinks he's accepting. He thinks that, or he's told himself that, but he's really preemptively attacking, as we've seen so many others do. Brie Larson comes to mind. Preemptively attacking fans for not liking these stories, for getting the same stuff they've been getting for the past 5, 10, 15, whatever you want to say, years. That's what he's bracing for, because I have a feeling it's not going to be all that different. Yeah, maybe we'll see some similarities to these stories of the past. Uh, Maybe we won't see them all living on Krakoa. Maybe the characters will get more to their core in some way. But if you think that Marvel, if you look up Disney, if you think that these corporations are flipping on a dime, mm, I don't think so. So the message will be there. I am certain the message will be there. And I'm certain there will be backlash from fans. And by that, I mean probably apathy more than anything else. But either way, Tom Brevoort is bracing to call you all racists and homophobes and bigots for not loving whatever they do with the X-Men here. Now, look, I'm a longtime X-Men fan. I really want this to be good. I would love to see these characters get back to their roots. I might even check this out despite Tom Brevoort's efforts to scare me off and call me a racist and bigot and homophobe if I don't fully embrace whatever they do with this books. Will I actually check it out? I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see how Tom how Tom uh, treats me over the next few months, I guess. Either way, check out this full article over at boundingintocomics.com. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that little notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content from the Bounding Into Comics team. My friends, happy holidays. Have a happy new year. Take care.